Relevant, welcome to this session. We're still discussing about the ICT hazards. So today, let's finish up discussing this uh subtopic that is uh the health hazards of the ICT used to the human life. We discussed the uh before the uh, various effects of uh, disposing the electronic uh waste uh, uh in our environment in case of how it affects the air, the soil, and the water and how it can affect us human beings, uh, the, how it can affect us with the ecosystem. So today let's uh, specifically discuss the health hazards uh, of ICT, that is the information and communication technology used uh, to the human life. The first one, this is the health hazard, that is the eye strain. So this is the one of the health hazard of using the ICT to human life. One health issue that can occur after using the computers specifically as one of the main components of the ICT for a longer time is eye strain, simply uh, known also as tiredness of the eyes. It is caused by looking at the monitor of the computer, uh, which is a constant distance away. The muscles that focus your eyes, yes, they do not move and they, so they get tired and painful. The eyes, the eyes, this eye strain can also cause the headaches. So this is the first health hazard of using the computers, one of the major component of the ICT. Now this problem, it can be solved simply by first looking away from the monitor at irregular intervals, uh, just to really focus on distance or close objects to exercise the muscles in the eye. And the other is just to take regular breaks uh, when you're using the computers for a very long time. And last but not least, use uh, this an anti glare filter in front of the monitor just to cut down on the screen reflections that can also tire the eyes. The other health hazard is back and neck ache. Many people suffer from the back and neck pain after working at a computer for a long time. It is usually due to them having a bad sitting postures. So bad sitting postures are the main cause for this health hazard that is the back and the neck pain or egg. Now this problem it can be simply solved uh, simply by using adjustable ergonomic chair and uh, take the time to set up properly just to be in a good posture when using the computer. The other one is the computer keyboard and the monitor should be at the correct, correct height for the seated person. Keyboard lower than the elbow top of the monitor at the eye level. So that's the main or the way of solving this problem, uh, back and back pains that can be resulted due to poor posture when using the computers. The other one is take your grab breaks, uh, get up, walk around, stretch your muscles just to avoid the pains. The other hazard is the repetitive strain injury, RSI in your voice and hands. Uh, so the various is this repetitive uh, strain injuries in the recent hands are the other hazards due to the ICT use. Any repetitive movement, same movements over and over again can result in a health problem called the repetitive uh, strain injury, RSI. Uh, in particular, typing and using a mouse for a long period are common causes of this RSI in the wrist. It is uh, it's often called the Hepatitis syndrome. This problem it can be simply solved uh, by use of the wrist rest to support the wrist uh, while typing and when using the mouse. And the other one is just take regular breaks from typing or using the mouse. So that's all I have for this session. We finished up discussing about this uh, chapter, the impact of ICT in our society, specifically in this video, we finished up discussing the ICT hazards, uh, mainly uh, the health hazards that can be caused by use of the ICT uh, to humans in our daily lives. Thank you.